Let's go around me. Don't be scared. Hey Doer, welcome back to my channel. Well, thanks for this change and this time I'll do an experiment. Entitled Descending Paper Chromatography Using Color Marker. The purpose of this experiment is to determine the composition of color in red marker. Check it out. Do, 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 do. do you know? The homogeneous mixture can be separated into their components by using the several methods, and one of them is used to chromatography. All forms of chromatography have the same working principle. There are stationary paste in solid or liquid paste on solid and mobile paste in liquid or case. Chromatography are consists of modern chromatography and conventional chromatography. About the modern chromatography is a method of separating mixture to its components that has the high molecular weight and use the sophisticated instrument, namely HPLC, High Performance Liquid Chromatography, or GCMS, Gas Chromatography Mass Spectro. And in exchange, uh, I'll do the conventional chromatography. While the conventional chromatography is the method of separating mixture to its components using the simple instrument, namely the paper chromatography, column chromatography, and chin layer chromatography. And in exchange, I'll do an experiment. Experiment that I can do myself and use the apparatus and materials I have at home, especially paper chromatography. Paper chromatography is the method of separating mixture to its components uh, by using the separation medium in the form of plane, generally use the flat plane of paper or chromatogram. And do you know that there are two main techniques of paper chromatography? There are ascending technique and descending technique. About descending technique is a technique in which the solvent is allowed to move down the paper due to gravity, while the ascending is the technique in which the solvent moves upward in capillary. And because of my title is descending paper chromatography, it means that I use the descending technique in this experiment. Do you want to know the apparatus and material that I use? Yes! Yeah! Do -do -do -do. Well, the apparatus that I use are jar, pipe, tissue, pencil, <laughs> skissers, and roller, while the materials I use are water and red marker. And how about the engineering idea I use in this experiment? Do -do -do -do. The engineering idea I use in this experiment are one, the chromatogram that I use in this experiment is modeled with a narrow neck, extending from the search of developer which blur out into the body of chromatogram paper. And chromatography development take place in the tightly closed camber. That's why I close the chart in this experiment. Because to keep the vapor of solvent inside this chart. And then, do you want to know these experiments? Yeah! Okay, check it out. Do, 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 do. Cut the tissue into a pumpkin shape with the following size. Mark the starting line. Put one dot in the middle of the line by the red marker. Design the apparatus like this so that you can feel the water here. The water will run down through the tissue. Observe the change and calculate the RF value. Do you know what is the RF value? In order to obtain the extent of movement of a component in the paper chromatography, we can calculate retention factor or RF value 
for each component in the chromatogram paper. Rf value is a number that is defined as a ratio of distance traveled by compound to the distance traveled by solvent. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Because research of journals say that the shape of pumpkin and place of chromatogram is better. And if you use the usual rectangle model, you can see the water move down too quickly through the tissue, and the spread of the color composition of the marker is also not scattered, and the color of composition is not clear. That's the reason from my experiment. That's all the experiment of designing paper chromatography using color marker. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you!